Hi guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the activities and art projects we did for our tree and plant um, science study. So as I discussed before in one of my circle time um, videos that I do activities to go along with these books. So I wanted to show you guys some of the activities and art projects we did to go along with the plants to help them learn about trees and learn about plants during circle time. I will link my video on circle time literature down below. So if you want to check that out, you can go on ahead. All right. So this first activity is a bulb flower life cycle. Okay, and now the point of doing activities with the literature is to bring the learning alive. So in this activity, you would mix up the cards for the child. You would give the cards to the child, and the child would have to put them in order from what happens first in the life cycle to what happens last in the life cycle. Now, it does come with a diagram, but we don't use the diagram. This next activity is an oak tree life cycle. Again, you would mix up the cards, and you would either give them to the child face down or face up. If they're face down, you have the child flip them over. If they're not, you obviously leave them. And the child will be responsible for putting the life cycle in order from the beginning to the end of the oak tree life cycle. <coughs> this next activity... <coughs> Sorry about that. This next activity is a how it's made activity, and it comes with a bunch of different sets, three cards in each set. Now, each set is different. So we have um, wheat, bread, cotton, wool, and milk. What you have the child do is you mix up the cards, and you give them two or three sets, and they have to match which cards go to which set, and then they have to put them in order. So, for example, the sheep makes wool, wool makes yarn, and yarn makes the sweater. This is a plants or food activity. You mix the cards up, and the child has to match the food to the plant it came from. So, we have a bunch of different cards, and maple syrup comes from a maple tree. Then we have tomato makes ketchup, orange makes orange juice, corn makes cornbread, and pasta comes from wheat. So we also bought these plants here so they could learn how a plant grows here. So we bought them from bulbs and grew them. So we have a paper white here, and we have an amaryllis right here. This is the amaryllis, this one with the flower. And we planted them from bulbs so they could learn how the plants grow. And this one is in a glass container so they can see the roots, and know what the roots do, you know, um, how the plant goes from a bulb to an actual plant and a flower. So really good hands-on learning to plant the flower and grow them as well. And then next year we will make them rebloom. As I said before, we had bought the two flowering plants for um, a school, kind of like a school project, right? Then I had my poinsettia. So what I did was I had the kids help me repot the plants, okay? And when we look at them or water them or anything, we look at the new growth that's forming and we can talk about that. Then this one was the one that was in water. And what we're actually going to do is we put it in dirt and we're going to see the difference between how it grows in water and how it grows in dirt. Is it going to grow better in dirt than it did water, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then over here, then over here we have our amaryllis that I showed you that had the flowers on it. Um, and it has a baby right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you know, you have to trim it away. And we um, didn't put it in a new pot because they like to be root bound. We put just put new dirt in there and trimmed it away 
and um, it will grow like that. So as they grow, we can talk about them too. But as far as for the plant study, we're changing the, so the water to soil and we're doing an experiment to see how it grows. We also made books and these were for our tree and plant study them here so we have the front covers we i had them just paint they got to use paints and just be creative and paint then they each have a handprint tree so we got the tree the handprint um out of construction paper they traced their hand cut it out then they um, we did construction paper grass, and I had them paint with little sponges um, the, the leaves that are supposed to be changing color and falling. And when we went out in nature, we collected leaves off of the ground. This was about November to bring back and identify which trees they came from. So then what we did is we glued them onto construction paper and I wrote the label of what tree it is on the paper and then we laminated them and then this is the back cover this one was my son's this was his and we laminated all the sheets center hole punched it and tied it with some blue ribbon okay so that was his now I will say that <laughs> If the kids go a little crazy with the glue like mine did, when you laminate it, it'll heat up the glue, and if there's a lot, a lot on there, it'll kind of spread it out on the page, just so you guys know um, that if they go a little crazy with the glue, that might happen. This next activity was based upon the acacia tree with the ants. Now, what I had my children do was take jumbo marshmallows, dip them in melted chocolate, and then put pretzels into the marshmallows for the thorns. And then after they made them, they got to eat them. Okay, so I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I, as I discussed before, I'll leave in the description a link to my video about the Circle Time Literature. Now I try to match up, you know, with the books. So if we're doing trees on the books, it'll be um, trees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now this whole tree plant study, I want to say, took about um, six weeks. I want to say, and we do school. Um, we do school five days a week, and we do the science part of our circle time three times a week. And in the video down below in the description, I go over that more. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you can leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to catch all my videos. Thanks. Bye.